How about the local cops? And these are the things that the farm workers were about. Que el amor debe ser vivido en las acciones de los hombres. Responding to the boycott, the Senate Migratory Subcommittee opened hearings to investigate the plight of farm workers. Senator Robert Kennedy interrogated the local sheriff, trying to understand why striking workers were being arrested. If I have reason to believe that there's going to be a riot started and somebody tells me that there's going to be trouble if you don't stop them, then it's my duty to stop them. And well, then you go out and arrest them? Well, absolutely. And charge them? Charge them. What do you charge them with? Uh, violating uh, unlawful assemblage. Who told you that they're going to riot? Uh, the men right out in the field that they were talking to said, if you don't get them out of here, well, we're going to cut their hearts out. So, uh, so rather than let them get cut, you remove the cause. This is the most interesting concept, I think. The fact that somebody makes a report about somebody's going to get out of order, perhaps violate the law, and you go in and arrest them, they haven't done anything wrong. How can you go arrest somebody if they haven't violated the law? They're ready to violate the law, in other words... But I suggest, from the luncheon period of time, that the sheriff and the district attorney read the Constitution of the United States. Two significant things came out of those hearings. One was just the fact that Bobby Kennedy came to Delano. And he got to meet Caesar, he got to meet the other leaders of the National Farm Workers Association. And secondly, the hearings just gave visibility to the Delano strike. I mean, it, it did the opposite of what the growers wanted. The growers wanted invisibility and localization and, you know, crush it locally. That's the strategy. For the strikers, the more statewide and national publicity, the better. We have to come clearly to the conclusion that it ignored the part of our population have been the farm workers. That the farm workers have suffered in our society over the period of the last 30 years and that that situation has to be changed. Farm workers had been on strike for five months with no solution in sight. Union leaders needed to find a new way to win over the American public. Cesar Chavez decided to make a peregrinación, a pilgrimage. Starting in Delano, he planned to march 300 miles to the state capital in Sacramento. Along the way, he hoped to recruit enough men, women, and children to focus national attention on the farm workers' cause. Marchers realized that their route would pass through hostile territory in the heart of the San Joaquin Valley. It opened the farm worker struggle beyond Delano, and it was to take the message of the farm worker struggle to farm workers all up and down the valley. The other thing that it did was take head on the fear that most people felt in the valley. So you kind of grew up or lived with this uh, kind of unspoken fear of knowing that there were there was the this side and that side of the tracks, that there were places you couldn't go, that there were uh, ways you would be treated. The San Joaquin Valley is, is full of those limitations, of those barriers and those lines that you never crossed. Well, this march crossed them. It crossed them all. It was, to me, a literal taking of the territory. As the marchers passed through each town, more and more sympathizers came out to join their pilgrimage. Each night along the route, they attended rallies and listened to updates on the boycotts against Shenley and DiGiorgio. Each morning began with mass, and then the marchers fell in behind the patron saint of the Mexican people, the Virgin of Guadalupe. 
She represented the very soul of the people. It fused everybody into one raza, so to speak. Uh, but it also legitimized us in the 